Merry Christmas everybody and welcome to our Green Acres. My name is Teresa. This video today is going to be action-packed so I hope y'all enjoy it. Since we are getting close to Christmas Day, we are actually wrapping up, literally, I'm going to give y'all some great last minute gift wrapping techniques toward the end of the video so don't click off because I think you'll want to see these. I think if you want some unique ways to wrap your gifts and maybe you're in you know you are in a time crunch I think these will help you out. I'm also going to give y'all some ideas and inspiration for some winter decor that we can put in place of our Christmas decorations when we go to pack those up. Today's video is going to be a really fun one because I am collaborating with one of my friends, Deidre, over at Our Upcycled Life. We are bringing y'all some ideas today for some winter decor for your home and also some last minute Christmas. So make sure to go over and check out her channel. Deidre is amazing. Her channel is very successful. She teaches a lot of tutorials over there, has a lot of great techniques that I know you will love. Make sure to check her out. She also has an Etsy shop. So Deidre is pretty much, she's everywhere. She's all over social media. So I'm going to leave all of her information down below. And I'm also going to leave a link to her video that she did for y'all today. So y'all can enjoy not just my video, but you can go over and enjoy her video and get lots more ideas and inspiration for Christmas and the winter season. I want to show you a piece that you can make that is very easy and is really budget friendly. Just take a sign that you may have, and I did one in um, last week's video that I got at the thrift store. So a lot of times you can find these at the thrift store, and you can get them at really good prices. This one was $4. It was a Dollar General piece. I've used it like this for a while, but now I want to do something different to it. So I'm just going to remove all the little embellishments, and it was really easy. I just pulled up the glue. I took it outside and with some sandpaper, I'm just going to work off all that wording. And then that way I will just have a good solid base to work with and I'm not even going to paint it. I'm going to take this little stencil. This is a stencil that I have cut this part off of. So don't be afraid to cut up your stencils, you know, if you, if you need to. And I'm just going to put this little apple cider and hot cocoa graphic on this one. And now you can put this little sign up on a little hot cocoa bar through the winter time. I'm going to style it on my white Christmas tree. But I'm thinking about leaving my white tree up through the winter. And, th and I'm just going to give you some ideas throughout this video of some things that you can do to decorate your home during the winter season after Christmas is over. Now I'm going to show you some more decor that we can make to put out during the winter season. I got these little three-tiered wall plaques at Dollar Tree. I got some square ones and I got some round ones. I did the round ones in last week's video and put some Christmas graphics on it. These are the square ones and I'm going to put some little French country little decoupage paper graphics on these. And all you want to do is just remove the staples from the back remove the tassel but save that because we're going to reuse it peel off the paper and now you've got a white background you don't even have to paint these now these little graphics right here i'll make sure to link this decoupage paper down below but you got four um you know like a french country hen there was a there's a rabbit and then there's one that's just kind of plain and then the other one i think's got a sheep or it may be a lamb but i really love these and i thought these would work really great on these little squares now i'm using diy liquid patina as my decoupage medium but you could also apply these with mod podge i like to always roll over my projects after I use my, my decoupage medium with a brayer and that way it just rolls out any excess decoupage medium and it also will help with the wrinkles and the bubbles. Now once I got the three graphics applied to the plaques I let them dry really well and then just go around with some sandpaper and just rub off the edges and the excess paper and this will also smooth out your edges. So once these are done 
I'm going to add back those tassels. We're not going to waste anything on this project. We're going to try to use everything that we had. But this is what they look like now, and I think these are really neat. Because, you know, you can use these type things. When you take down some of your Christmas decor, you can replace it with little pieces like this. So here is the little tasseled um, beaded um, little thing that it had and I'm just going to put this one on this and place it right in there in between the tassel and that top bead. I'm going to uh, cut off the twine and I'm going to tie it and then I, I still have some more of that little um, twine and beads left and I'll use it on another one. I'm just going to tie it in a knot and now this one will be finished. So this one's got a pretty little beaded tassel and like I say we just made three projects out of a little Dollar, dollar Tree item that we paid $1.25 for. I did go across the bottom of the tassel, I evened it off really good, and just trimmed it down a little. So on this one, I decided I'm going to hot glue the other piece of the twine onto it with the, the beads, and now we've got another one that we can hang. Now, you can go around now if you leave up some of your greenery or some of your wreaths. These will be cute little pieces that you can hang up just to add a little bit more detail to your home through the winter season. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. Putting on the show for everybody. You can't find those little three tiered wall plaques at Dollar Tree. Hopefully you'll have a hang tag or you can find a hang tag. I'm going to take one that I have. I think this one comes from Dollar General and I'm just going to peel the paper off and I've got a good white base to it. Now I have one of the graphics left. I've got the rabbit. So I'm going to take the rabbit and I'm going to show you how you can apply it to a hang tag. Now most of the time the hang tags are going to be a little bit bigger than these size graphics. So what I did was I went around with my fingers with some water and I just gently went around and ripped the edges just to give it a worn and distressed look around the edges so it doesn't look like I just cut it out with my scissors, placed it on there, and it was a little bit smaller than the hang tag. This way it just kind of makes it look like it was, you know, made on there and it's kind of, you know, kind of got worn in time. Now I just used my decoupage medium and I applied it. I rolled back over it with a brayer and I went over it with a sanding block just to give it a little bit more distressing. And I added a piece of the twine with the beads that I had left over. And now we've got a beautiful little hang tag. You give them a smile that lasts another year. I want to ask y'all a question. Do you think y'all are going to pack up your Christmas tree after Christmas or are you going to leave it up and maybe enjoy it at least through the winter season? And some people leave their Christmas tree up all year long and they decorate it for the seasons. Well, I'm thinking about leaving mine up, especially through the winter time. Well, I'm going to show you some ways when you take off your Christmas decorations from it and pack those up some other ways that you can decorate your tree for the winter season and still keep your tree up but enjoy it in a different way. I purchased some little mini lampshades and a lot of times you can find these at the thrift store very inexpensive. These were 50 cents. I just applied a stamp to it then I hot glued like a ribbon hanger on the top of the inside of the lampshade and you can hang these on your tree. I think a tree decorated with these little mini lampshades would be so pretty. I also took some totally dazzled jewelry and using a little bit of hot glue I just got creative with my my jewels and I put some of those on the lampshades just to give you some idea of how you can take some very um, inexpensive items and hopefully some of these things you will have at home already and just get you some little lampshades and get creative with it add some bows and you can decorate your tree for the winter season another idea to decorate a winter tree is put some vintage or some kind of family photos all over your tree you can put them into some little mini frames add some ribbons and bows 
or you can just put some photos inside your tree, go around, decorate it, and have fun with it. But I just think this would be another really creative way that you can keep your tree out through the winter time, enjoy it, and who doesn't love to look at family photos? Another really inexpensive way to decorate for the winter season and before you put up some of your Christmas decorations look at them and ask yourself if you can leave them out during the winter and maybe repurpose them in a different way. I just took a little dough bowl that has some little winter greenery in it and I just took these little Dollar Tree ornaments and I'm just going to use three. I cut the hangers off, put them in my dough bowl and just to add another little detail to it just add a little snowflake. That is very inexpensive, but now you can sit this out to replace some of your Christmas decor. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star. So all your secret dreams can come true. I want to take just a minute to tell y'all about today's sponsor, and they are Costway. I want to give them a huge thank you for sponsoring the video today, and I have partnered with them several times, and I love their products. If you are looking for furniture pieces for your home, indoor or outdoor, or any type of home decor, make sure to go out and check out Costway. These are a few items that I have on my wish list that I think are absolutely beautiful and they also come in different colors. So I'm going to leave a link to their website down below also with a discount code. So make sure to go out and check them out in case you need a piece for the holidays or for the winter season when you take down all your Christmas decor, go out and check them out and shop online. I have received a white Christmas tree. Now white Christmas trees are not just for Christmas. In my home tour, I showed y'all my white trees that I have throughout my home. These can also be carried out and left up through the winter time, just to add a little bit of ambiance and give you some lighting. And they are also beautiful just standing alone because they're white and they, I don't know, they remind me of a winter wonderland. Now I received this one from Causeway and it is so easy to assemble. It just comes in three sections. You put each section down in the pole, you fluff it as you go, and then you'll plug it in, and then it'll be a beautiful enhancement to any room in your home. This is in a guest room that we have over at our condo at our secondary home, so I know when our guests come over and spend the night, I'm going to leave this tree up through the winter time. I know they're, they are going to enjoy it, and I think it makes such a beautiful glow in the room. This tree that I received is seven foot tall, and of course you can see it is pre-lit, and it has 300 LED lights. It's got eight flash modes, and it's actually considered a pencil tree. So that is great for me, because I love a tree that can go in a corner, or it won't take up a lot of space. I love the way the tree looks in the guest room, and like I told y'all, I'm planning to leave this up throughout the winter season. I just think it gives the room such a beautiful glow and I know that my guests will really enjoy it. Here's a picture of the tree at night with the lights off. It just absolutely glows and I absolutely love that. So just such a beautiful tree and a beautiful addition to our room. So make sure to go out and shop on Cosway's website and see all the home decor and furniture and all the things that they have to meet your family's needs. They are running a lot of great sales right now, and especially through the holidays, and maybe you got some money or a gift card for Christmas, this would be a great place to spend it. Get some new decor pieces for your home. They offer fast free shipping, 30-day returns, and a 365-day warranty. I'm going to leave a link to their website down below in my description box, along with a discount code. Now I'm going to give y'all some gift wrapping ideas for those last-minute gift wrappers and y'all we usually are gift wrapping up till christmas day 
Do you ever have any paper that the tape just won't stick to? Well, this is it. But I got out my hot glue gun, and instead of using tape, have you ever wrapped presents using hot glue? Y'all, it works, and it actually works better. Just wrap your gift as normal, but use hot glue in the places that you need to use tape, and instead of using tape, just hot glue it. This works so good, and it leaves you with some really nice looking edges and and i was really impressed with it so just giving you another idea of how you can wrap gifts instead of getting out your tape or maybe run out of tape grab your hot glue gun now and it works best on your ribbons too i have never thought about this i've always tried to use tape and of course a lot of times my ribbons they come they come off they come loose because the tape doesn't stick so now, just after we get our presents wrapped, now I'm going to show you some really easy and fun ways that you can embellish them and just take your gifts to the next level. Do I wrap this one in some white gift wrap paper, and now I'm going to take this Heavenly Stamp. This is by IOD, and I'll leave a link below of how you can order this stamp. But y'all, this is a great stamp to have, and it will also carry us through Valentine's. Here's another idea to use those heavenly stamps or whatever kind of stamps you have. I just got a brown box, put my gift in it, put some stamps on it. Again, I used some pretty ribbon and some totally dazzle jewelry and that was all I had to do with this gift. And if you're not into gift wrapping, there are so many pretty decorative boxes that you can purchase. I got a package that had these in it along with some other really pretty ones. And I think the whole package, I, I think I got six to eight boxes and it was only $4.99. But add your gift to your, you know, your beautiful box and add some greenery and some ribbon. And now it is ready to give to someone special. I got this little snow embellishment either at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. But little things like this, you can just have another vision for them. I just took that little buffalo plaid, all of that just peeled right off. I took it off and now I've got more of a wood surface. I'm just going to go over it with some white linen chalk paint. Give it a couple of coats. I went around the edges and distressed it. I added a snowflake and some more totally dazzle jewelry. And now this made a beautiful embellishment for our gift. And after Christmas is over, our recipient can keep this and display it during the winter season. Another gift idea is just look for some beautiful and unique gift wrapping paper. I found this beautiful paper and it is the kind that does not like the tape, but I used hot glue like I showed you to wrap this gift. This paper is absolutely beautiful. I love the metallic sparkle to it and this came from TJ Maxx. I got a lot on a roll and the roll wasn't that expensive. I added some pretty ribbons and again I, uh, I added some totally dazzle jewelry, a really pretty little Christmas tag and now this gift is ready to be given. And another idea, if you don't want to wrap a gift or you maybe are in a time crunch, you know those gift boxes, a lot of them will have a decorative top and will have a graphic on it. And some of them are not that attractive. Just take two bottoms, take because they're all the same size, just take two white ones, put them together, and now you don't even have to wrap, but you got a beautiful white box. Add some really pretty ribbons to it, some really pretty bows that you may have. And another way to apply your bows is don't use the sticky part of the bow because it never sticks. But use some hot glue to apply your bows this year. I feel like they will stay on a lot better. And the, I don't know, it, to me it was just a lot easier.
If you're looking for some inexpensive gift wrapping embellishments, try Dollar General. I went to my Dollar General and I found some really cute little things that I could use to really speed up my gift wrapping and make it look really pretty. I'm going to take a large snowflake and I'm going to take this little Merry Christmas tag that I got at Dollar General for $1. I added that to my gift and look what a beautiful present now that this made. Another great item that I found at Dollar General are these cute little containers. The day I went to Dollar General, it was buy one Christmas decor uh, item and get another one half off. So I got, grabbed a couple of little nutcrackers and brought it home. And these are perfect to roll up like little t-shirts. This is a men's shirt. I just rolled it up and it fit perfect in this. Put the little hat back on. I added some really pretty ribbons to it. Now this gift is ready to go. Another item that I found at Dollar General, but you can find these a lot of places, are little nutcrackers. These are $1, and they would have been uh, $1.50 if you got two. This one I got at Bells. It, cut, it fit my color scheme a little bit better for this gift, so I used it. And don't forget to mix and match your paper. You know, get a strip of paper and, you know, embellish your gifts with, you know, mix and match papers. I just tied the little nutcracker on, and that was all I did. Here's a little unique item that would be great to put some jewelry in. These right here were a dollar, and again, they were buy one, get one half off. I love a little nutcracker, but they, you know, they actually, they open up. I brought mine home with a little hot glue. I glued a couple of little ribbons on it so it would tie on the side, but you can also tie a ribbon around it. But just a great little cute little storage box, and it, actually these two would be great for stocking stuffers. Here's another unique way to wrap a gift, and that is these. These were at Dollar General, and they were also buy one and get one half off. But it is a snowman hat tree topper. These were originally $6. They had them in red and black. I grabbed a black one, but I also wanted to show you these little fabric bags that they had. You got three to a pack for $3. Take a little snowman hat. It's got an opening in the bottom. I put my gift in the little bag just to secure it really well. And this bag will not come out of this little snowman hat. And now we've got a great little gift to give to someone and they can reuse the bag and also the little snowman hat. Here's another way that you can really impress your recipient of your gift is I found this little Happy Holidays. I found this at Dollar General and it was $1. I'm gonna take some rub and buff and I'm gonna change the red and make it gold. To do this, I just got a little sponge brush and I went over it and did a couple of layers with the rub and buff until I got it totally covered and now it goes beautiful on our gift. I'm gonna attach it and I'm gonna use some ribbon that I have and I'm gonna hot glue it on to the little ring. Now I don't want my hot glue to show through my ribbon on the front side so I'm going to really try to hot glue it on the back and in this one when I got to this side I just kind of tacked it down using a little bit of hot glue in each corner. It's getting cold baby I just want you want you close I got all this joy in my heart and if it's getting dark yeah we can go Next gift wrapping idea was inspired by Pinterest and this was my inspiration picture. I thought what a fun way to add a little bit of a rustic charm to a gift. I just took a cereal box, I cut out a triangle to make my Christmas tree and using some hot glue and some drop cloth strips, I'm just gonna go around the tree and I'm just gonna kinda turn it cause you don't wanna just wrap it around the tree and make it look like it's wrapped. But you do wanna turn it and kinda make it look like it is, you know, you know, just a little ruffled as you go. Hot glue it wherever you need to. And then when you get it on the back and you get it hot glued and your fabric runs out, just cut off your tails. And with some hot glue, apply another strip and just keep going until you work all the way up the cereal box. Once you get to the top, I just use one piece and I just went, I just went totally wrapping until I got to the point. 
and I added a little star that I had on hand to the top with some hot glue. I put the little stick down in the little tree trunk. I added a little twine bow to mine, and that's all you have to do. Such a fun project, but look how cute it made this gift look. Okay, y'all, are y'all motivated now to go get those gifts wrapped? I hope so. Here's one last idea. Now, this one, I don't know if it'll be cost-effective for you, but to me, I feel like it will. This is an IOD transfer that came in the release for this year, but it's no longer available unless you can find a stockist that still has this transfer. But I don't like to store my seasonal transfers because a lot of times they get damaged. I'd rather go on and use them. So I applied this beautiful deer to this brown craft paper that I got at Dollar Tree and also added a twine bow, some greenery, some red berries, and a tag. And that was all I had to do to this one. We are coming toward the end of the video. I want to wish all of y'all a very Merry Christmas because this will be my last video before Christmas. After Christmas, I'll hope to bring y'all lots of winter decor, so stay tuned for that. If you are coming over from Deidre's channel, I want to welcome you. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected, and make sure to go over and check out Deidre's channel because I know you'll love her content. So I'll leave a link down below to how to get to her channel and her video for today. And the most important thing I was about to forget, Deidre and I are both expecting little grandbabies the middle of january so y'all look forward to seeing some little baby pictures hopefully in the near future also make sure to check out cosplay i'm going to leave all their information down below along with a discount code so make sure to go out and check their website and want to give them a huge thank you for sponsoring the video today make sure to hit that red subscribe button and i love y'all merry christmas everybody and i will see y'all again very soon happy holidays